because we have a little bit of a problem with Nicolas Judasson. Uh, Turquito. Turquito, if you're in the chat, please contact uh, your opponent, Nicolas Judo. Please go on Tondamel, open the bracket, open your match. And over there, there's going to be a chat with your opponent. Please open it up as soon as possible. Uh, because you have, you have about two... You have two... Um, so... I'm gonna stream this match, I'm gonna stream the next match, and if at the end of the next match you don't contact your opponent, you'll be disqualified from the tournament, okay? So make sure to contact your opponent. Mm. Uh, so Turquito... There we go. Just finished uh, up an OCE Strive stream, that's very bare bones and high on trash talk. I can understand some technical difficulties even if they're in only uh, in one's break. Yeah, man, that is pretty crazy. I absolutely love Strive. Uh, Strive as well. It is one of my favorite games, but yeah, I have to say I kind of like um, I kind of like Street Fighter 6 as well. Not to the same extent for now, but um, definitely looking. Oh wow! And here we go with the first round going straight to Yamada-san. Okay, I'm just gonna try to contact uh, uh, Turquito real quick uh, because uh, he hasn't contacted his opponent. Let's see. One sec. Turkido, Turkido. I'm sorry if I don't. Uh... Ah, here we go. Hmm. Please contact. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, first match goes to uh, Yamada San apparently. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, Turkido is here, so it's perfect. Good. What was you doing? Okay. It's gonna be pretty hard to find uh, the room name, though. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, it should be fine. Very good. Okay, let me just. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be commentating, but I have like some bracket issues right now. So please just give me a couple of seconds. Really sorry, guys. I wish I could be a little bit more uh, more active on the commentaries right now, but it's always like this at the start. Then once it starts, it really starts, and then we, you know, well, you know the drill. Usually the first couple of matches, I cannot, you know, give my input on the on the on the match because I'm I'm busy with. Uh, with bracket organization and everything's fine now so i can finally start commenting it so yes first match went to yamada no uh, tonari by the way which is uh quite surprising well i'm not gonna say surprising since yamada has a uh, mr of uh, 2006 wow okay this i did wow this i actually didn't know filipino champ using his level two actually in order to nullify the um the the tornado sent by sent by yamada san that being said uh, yamada does have the corner positioning right now but he is a very very far from Filipino champ Filipino champ inviting uh, Yamada uh, to throw a mini tornado in order to uh, yeah in order to nullify the fireball of Filipino champ and Filipino Chen using this opportunity to teleport and punish the recovery frames of Yamada as you can see right now the uh, zoning is turning out pretty good for uh, F champ but it can really go either way not going to lie we just need one opportunity. Wow, very nice use of the uh, the hover right there from uh, F Champ just to go over the tornado. As you can see, wow, this is the first match. It's all oh Lord, and here we go with the jump in. Oh, F Champ using the reversal and the fireball for the chip kill. Actually, I do believe F Champ definitely not out of this yet. One match apiece. A very nice whiff punish right there from F Champ gets a full punish. And it's back to the zoning game. Wow, it is so hard to try to anti-air Rashid, man. This dude is playing some serious Guilty Gear game. Yeah, yeah, using how many? I don't know how many jumps. Rashid is the million of Street Fighter 6, man. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the corner positioning. Yamada getting the grab. Again, going with the jabs, trying to gain, trying to open him up, uh, trying to open up F Champ. F Champ waking up with the jab, goes for the drive rush. Gets a little bit more of real estate back, a little bit more space. 
for him to try to start his own end game. Tried to go for the drive rush into the grab, but nicely taken by uh, Yamada. And back to the zoning game. FCM going with the drive rush, trying to yeah get a reaction. Very nice entire raid there. Air to air from FCM this time around. Messes up with his entire though. Oh, tried to go with for the drive rush, and unfortunately for FCM, he is in exhausted state in burnout state and it's full combo for you and yamada takes the first round of the third the second match the third match actually very nicely done and on to uh, the second round of this third match wow uh, yeah yamada definitely yeah finding the ways in nice entire right there from fcm tried to go for a grab but was interrupted by the jab of yamada back to the yoga flame game the yoga fire game there you go, Yamada trying to get out of the range of the fireball. Unfortunately for him, ends up uh, landing on one of them. Here we go with the drive rush, and it's so hard to anti-air him. What are you supposed to do? Oh, get back to... Ooh, nice anti-air. And if champ, yep, using that standing uh, MK. No oh, lord, and the freaking trade in favor of F champ. Oh, and... If champ going on, ooh, failed to get uh, to connect with the third jab. That would have been ooh, that would have been game probably since uh, if champ had enough a uh, bar to go into level three. And here we go with the air to air and the far HK for the kill. If champ not out of this yet, definitely wants this. Uh, definitely wants it. Well, and back to the zoning game. One second. And here we go with the big tornado. Um, one second, guys. Huh? Sorry. And here we go with the level three. Big, big, big damage right there from F Champ. He has the life lead. A pretty nice one. He has the corner. Well. He's far from the corner too, has a lot of leeway in order to invite Yamada to jump on him and very nice jump in by Yamada, it can start from there, just one opportunity, Ooh. and here we go with the DI, and it's opening time, what is FCHAMP gonna do, uses the reversal, but FCHAMP, oh okay, it's fine, FCHAMP does have a little bit of stamina trying to go for the teleport, uh, and it's, oh lord, here we go with the grab, Tried to go for the overhead, couldn't quite get it. No, too far to get the confirm. Yoga fire indeed. And here we go with the super yoga fire. Tried to go. Oh, Lord. And here we go with the DP for the kill. That was crazy. Yamada taking the lead 2 to 1. What is F Champ gonna do? Okay, just one second. I received something. You know, everything's fine in the brackets. Perfect. I like it when the bracket goes well. Nice grab by F Champ. Oh, goes for the air to air for the entire. Okay, and back to the zoning game. Very nice use of the fireball right there to interrupt the drive rush from Yamada. And full punish right there. That was sick. Again with the, yeah, the two HS, the two uh, HP to interrupt the drive rushes from Yamada. Yamada went for, oh lord, the lateral mini tornado to catch F Champ in the air. Very nice use of the pair right there to not get hit by the DI. Or at least not get wall splatted by the DI. Here we go with Champ using the X Fireball in order to, yeah, to install his mind game. Notice that Yamada didn't take to the air and just teleported behind him to, um, to get the side switch and uh, get the kill. Yeah, Yamada caught Yamada sleeping a little bit right there. Yeah, oh man. Wow, and the punishes are so freaking on point, but oh! Drop the combo. Wow, you're going the perfect parry. And yeah, Yamada is in dire straight right there. Yeah, you can tell. Oh lord, oh lord, what are you gonna do? Is that gonna be enough to kill? Yes, it is. Level three. Gobble, gobble, no. Gatling. Here we go. Boom. Or is it the Kane? I think it's Kane. Yeah, good stuff from F Champ. Take the freaking match so convincingly at the end, man. That zoning was crazy, not gonna lie, man. How you doing, you hope You're good? And, oh lord, oh lord, here we go with the shimmy. Very nicely done by Yamada. Again, catches F-Champ in the air. 
There you go with the grabs. It's grabbing time. Yamada definitely not happy with what happened right there. Ooh, it's so that. Ooh, Lord. Oh, the freaking confirms. Oh, big shimmy from F Champ goes for the drive rush. Oh, unfortunately, didn't quite get the rest, but it's fine. He got the entire. I tried to invite a tech right there, but it's fine. He's got the corner positioning. He has a lot of leeway to play with. With the yoga fire, yoga fire, what are you gonna do? If Sham definitely wanting Yamada to jump right here. Oh lord! Oh no! Oh, here you go with the reverse, and it's still fine for F Champ. He has a lot of stamina bar trying to go for the yeah, the mix-up of the fireball using the TP. Yeah, and yeah, F Champ just content. Oh lord, and you did. Good stuff from F Champ, man. The the patience of this person, man. It's crazy, the patience. You really need to be super patient when you play Dalsim. And I feel like if Champ is definitely playing Dalsim exactly the way that he's intended. Nice grab, noticing that uh, Yamada had a tendency to just go with the parry after drive rush. From, ooh, Filipino Champ, ooh! I thought it was gonna hit, ooh, ah, that, oh, that perfectly timed teleportation was sick, ooh! Unfortunately for Yamada, a little bit late right there on the punish. Yeah, he wants to get the exhausted state. He wants it so bad. And you can see if Champ um, using the fireball in order to counter the tornado's attempt to uh, put him in to a uh, stun state. Here we go with the DI. And the juggle. What is going to be the mix? Ah, shimmy. Nope. Grab. Ah, nice trade in favor of if Champ. I oh, went for the low too far to get the conversion though. It can definitely go either way. Oh, yeah. Oh, can he get the punish? Yeah, but he cannot get the drive rush, unfortunately, for him. Okay, what? Oh, Lord! No! Too far! You hate to see it happen! You hate to see it happen, man. We are going on to the last round of the last match. It is only the first match of today, and the players are playing already out of their mind. It is crazy. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord, yeah, ooh, and here you go with the confirms from Filipino champ, goes for the grab. It's gonna be the mix. Ah, no entire, oh yeah, oh lord, and just let it rip. That being said, Yamada is on the verge of being in, uh, in stun state. Yeah, you can see, yeah, yeah, you can see Filipino champ just wanting to close the gap, forcing the stun state. Oh lord! Just one hit is all that is required. Yeah, you can see Filipino champ being very... Oh, he almost got it! Oh, and then Leo got flamed for the chip kill. Good stuff from Filipino champ. Takes the first... Okay, well, if you left the room, I don't know how he's playing right now, but who cares? Anyway, next match is going to be Alder versus Alden. Let's see how this pans out. So, Alder, a uh, returnee uh, to the uh, Brojo Cup. He has been making consistent top eights up until now. Definitely looking forward to his performance today. And his opponent is none other than Alden Philippines. I have yet to... I think it's his first participation. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's the case. But uh, yeah, rocking that mean, mean uh, JP machine, if I might say. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the teleportation from Alden, trying to bring his opponent in the corner, but very nice cross-up jump in from Alder. Goes for... Oh, too far! Shy from a few inches from the corner right there. Unfortunately, could not get that wall splat. Alden using this opportunity to drive rush forward and yeah, try to deal some damage and get a little bit of distance back. Very nice cheeky DI right there. Out of nowhere. That was very nicely done by Alden. Goes for the jump in. Ooh, Gallard a little bit late on his. Ooh! Very nice use of the parry. Here we go. Full combo. Is it gonna kill? No! Not an oof. Yeah, Gallagher trying to read a... Ah, tried to read the um, the Amnesia right there, but Alden made it good. Did not um, did not succumb to temptation to use uh, to use the, um, the Amnesia right there. Very nicely done. And takes the first round thanks to it. Wow, that was a crazy DI and worked perfectly well for Alder. He's got the corner pressure, the corner positioning. Ooh, very nice 2H right there. From Ooh, Gallagher gets a clean jump in. This is gonna kill. Yes, it is. With a perfect kill, nevertheless. Very nicely done by Alder. And on to the final round of this match. Already very, very dynamic. 
And here we go with the drive rush from Alitor. Gets the cross up. Goes for the overhead. Gets the follow up thanks to the drive rush. Oh, try to go for an air to air, but a little bit too late on uh, on his reaction right there. Oh, wow, that was a raw DP right on his. Ooh. And I do believe he meant to do an X version. Very nice reaction station. You could have gotten the kill if he uh, if he canceled into the level three right there, but it's still fine. He's got the uh, the. It could go either ways though. If Alden manages to get the level three, he will be in a very very positive. Oh, and the counter the eye from Alden. This is exactly what he needed. Yo, Smoib, how you doing, my brother? From another mother, always much appreciated. How was your stream, man? And welcome to you in your community, as always, on my stream and in the Brodrill Cup. You are family, and you know it. <laughs> and wow, and Alden actually managing the uh, the comeback right there at an opportune moment, if I might say. Thank you very much for the follow, Birdie, and welcome to the Brodrill. Family, family. All you need is family. <laughs> hope you had an under, uh, a wonderful stream, uh, Smoim. I really hope. And here we go with the juggle. Alden gonna get some uh, space back. Here we go with the zoning. The zoning that everybody loves. Here we go, Alden getting some space a little bit more. Goes for the TP and uses the second hit of the Eye of Sauron to pin Alidor on the floor and force him to, uh, to eat his jump in. And here we go with the DI. Alidor starting, gonna get the corner positioning, gets a pretty nice one, goes for the save jump. Fortunately for him, mistimes his grab and gets grabbed himself by Alden. And Alden with the schmixes using the level 2. Very nicely done, takes the first round of the second match as well. Alden looking very solid. So let's see how this pans out. Is Alidor gonna be able to, uh, to make a comeback currently in pretty dire straight, down one match in one round. He would definitely benefit from winning this, uh, from making a comeback right there on this uh, particular match. Ah, here we go with the grave. Back with the eye of Sauron. Yeah, Alden trying to find the way in, but man, Alden on point with the entires right there. Uh, and on, wow, that was sick. Using the aerial uh, sand slash, I believe. Sand, sand slash, you call it? Sand blast. Uh, in order to delay his uh, his landing sequence and not get hit by the uh, by the um, by the grave. On with the grave, double grave. If one grave is not enough, do a second one. And back to the neutral. Ah, unfortunately for Alida Red. Oh wow, that freaking air grab was godlike. Very nicely done by Alden. Alden with the corner positioning. He's got his opponent exactly where he wants and. Yeah, level three! Elder said, nope, you wanna chip me? I'm not gonna let you do though. Yeah, bro, this is gonna hurt like a mother humper. Very nicely done. It's not over till it's over. Elder should be able to get, yeah. Oh, reading that, oh man, he's gonna get the freaking comp. No, no. <laughs> no, Elder, not like this, bro. Not like this. You had it! You had it! You had it and you dropped it! Oh, that that hurts. That is pain right there. That was so unfortunate for Malader, man. He had it. He had the... That was the comeback of his life, man. Unfortunately for him, he, un he ends up dropping right at the very end of winning combo. That was so unfortunate. Well, the winning combo of the, the, for, the, for the round, that is. He wouldn't have won the match. Uh, he would have still need to win one more round to win the match, but still... But it's still fine, it's fine, it's fine. We believe in Alidor. And here we go with the drive rush into the grab attempt. Again, Alden 100% when it comes to the entire goals for the Amnesia. Almost got the punish right there. Goes for the overhead. Back to neutral. Oh, a little bit late this time around for the entire. And Alidor not dropping it this time around. Goes for the safe route. Which he should have done. Oh, here we go to DI. But Alidor finally puts one round on the board. Finally. Let's go, Ali. Oh, good lord. I mean, I feel I, I feel so bad for him for the draw, though, but it's fine. Okay, let's move on. We go with the air to air from Alden. Try to go for the command grab. But man, Alden are on point when it comes to not get hit by this command grab. Was able to jump over the first attempt and uh, to punish with the XDP with the second one. Wow, here you go with the X and slash. Late on that entire, though. Oh, goes for the DI. There you go. 
the pain is coming straight into the level two. Boom, 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 boom. Kubrua. Good stuff from Elder. Looking pretty good. No, a little bit late on the DP. He goes for the DI reaction, DI, but unfortunately for him, uh, is that gonna kill? I think it is. Yeah, level one. Yep. And you did. Finally. Good stuff from Elder. Puts one on the board. He still needs two straight wins if he wants to stay in the winner's bracket and send Alden in the losers. We shall see how this pans out. Wow, raw DI and it worked. It worked, man. It worked very nicely done. Here we go with the corner position. He tried to go for the entire, uh, for the, um, for the grab. But very nice reaction DP right there from uh, Gallagher. Ooh, ooh. I released the uh, the parry a little bit too early and got hit by the overhead, but it's still fine. Alder does have the uh, the life advantage right now. <laughs> wow, both opponents just staring each other in the eye. Do not want to commit again, man. Alder getting hit by the entire 2 HS, 2 uh, HS, <laughs> 2 HP. Again, man, the 2 HP, so good. Oh, so far, but no! Oh, Lord, using the air sense slash to not get entired, but still. Uh, reco the recovery is relatively quick on this uh, hit. Oh, too far to get the kill, but goes for the standing HK, I believe it is. And just like this, Alden on match point is going to be able to seal the deal. We shall see. We shall see, we shall see. Okay, okay. Bread and cookie. No entire right there from Galader. Alden, yeah, Alden taking his time though. Oh, being a little bit more active, actually, no, that's what I meant to say. Being a little bit more active, a little bit more jumpy than before. Deciding to go... Oh, here we go with the TP. First a little bit too late for the punish. Very nice 2, H uh, 2 HP right there from Galader. Again with the t 2 HP, man. Yeah, you can sense Galader being a little bit angsty right there. Ah, nice confirm from Alden. Still rocking the level 1. Nice reaction right there from Alder. I sense a DI. I sense a DI. I sense a DI. <laughs> I called it. I called it and just like this, Alden is gonna seal the deal a clean 3, 2, 1. Sent none other than Ocha versus speed the head. Let's see how this spins out. Thank you. Sorry for the... Wait! We'll be fine now. Okay, we're good. So... What is that? Okay, sorry for the wait. So yes, a... Uh, a JP mirror, actually. And the Subara Siocha being in diamond rank, actually. And not Master still, and the... Uh, Still managing to take the first round off of none other than Feed the Head. And Feed the Head being a very, very strong JP player. Let's see how this pans out. They're definitely struggling right there. Wow, that was a sick 2H. Not going to lie. Let's see how this pans out. The Eye of Sauron is out. And Subara Siotia getting, yeah, getting baited. Getting his parry attempt baited. Ooh, nice punish right there from Feed the Head. Should be able to get the corner position. Well, no, actually not. Here we go with the X Ghost. Good lord! Ooh, nice hit in. Couldn't quite get anything off of it, unfortunately. Here we go with the jump in. And the far H. E for the hit. <laughs> oh, and this should be level 3 into the kill from Subarashio Ocha. Just stealing it at the end. Very nicely done by Ocha. Come. Boom! Fireworks. Good stuff from Ocha. Takes the first match. But it's still, it's not over till it's over. Let's see if Feed the Head can manage to... Oh, okay, Feed the Head uh, probably going to change the characters, I guess. Yeah, going with Honda directly, okay. Feed the Head, not much of a fan of, uh, of uh, mirror matches, I believe. Since I do believe it's not the first time that he actually uh, resorts to um, changing characters when it's a mirror. So maybe he found that playing Honda against... Um, against uh, JP is more efficient, or maybe he's just more at ease playing on. I love this face of Honda, by the way. So yeah, let's see how this pans out. We shall see. 
And on to the next battle. Ooh, he did miss timing his ghost toy timing right there to try to get the Oh lord, and the bait right there on the parry attempt of Feed the Head goes for the butt slam. Try to go for the grab, but Subara Siocha using the amnesia in order not to get hit by it and get some pretty nice damage in the process. Nice a bar right there from Feed the Head uses the X Sumo and again with the Ocho grab X version for the kill. Ocho grab. Very nicely done by. Feed the head takes the first round extremely convincingly, not going to lie. Let's see how this turns out. Here we good to go. And again with the Oichil grab, man, this has been working a lot for him. Here we go with the Doskoi. Again with the Doskoi. Ah, oh, nice butt slam. Oh, Lord. Missed time the, the parry attempt right there from uh, Swarasio Hotel, unfortunately for him. A nice Doskoi right there. Oh, and here we go with the entire. Okay, you can see Subaru Siocha trying to go for the um, for the perfect parry, but the timing is very, very, very strict. So let's see how this pans out. <laughs> here we go with the Dosko and the anti. Woo! Finally, here we go with the parry. Successful parry attempt. Yeah. Oh, okay, Subaru Siocha going straight for the level 3. Okay. I don't know if I agree with it, since the paration of the perfect parry is going to make it so that... The damage is a little bit negligible, all things considered. Still better than nothing, but... Let's see how this spins out. Here we go, the Doskoi. Ah, late on the butt slam attempt. Goes for the cross up, and the X. Doskoi has... Uh, takes the win for Feed the Head. Manages to put one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, a little bit late right there. Try to go for the DI, but unfortunately... Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, ended up in the wrong direction again with the butt slam, which was counter hit. I do believe that uh, uh, Fidet could have gotten a um, could have gotten a, oh wow could have gotten a follow up on it. Yeah, just like this one, exactly. Nice damage right there. Look at the damage, man. <laughs> Fidet trying to bait the uh, amnesia attempt. Wow, a nice air to air right there from Subarasiocha. Subarasiocha. Oh, going for the DI this time around. And this is going to do a lot of damage, all things considered. No bars needed. Here we go with the TP. Is that going to be enough to kill? Subara Siocha investing a lot of, uh, of resources there and ends up taking it. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see how this pans out. That could have really, really, really gone south very quickly. That being said... We go back to the neutral. Very nice use of the butt slam right there from Feed the Head. Content to just try to bait stuff and not really force, force the offense. And here we go with the X. 100 slaps. Ah. Here we go with the Doskoi. Again with the butt slam, man. It's been the it's been the, the bane of uh, the bane of Subarasiota. With the X version, gets hit by the, the grave, and it's oh lord, yeah. But I see being a little bit more active this time around, not really caring about the Doskoi. Yeah, using a lot of graves right there to interrupt the uh, the startup of the the startup of the um, of the ooh of the Doskoi. Ooh, big, big oh lord, and you dead. Yeah, out oh, you're not dead actually. Ooh, that would have been crazy. Oh, big Doskoi right there. And oh, a little bit late to it. No, you had to No. No, not like this. Oh, Lord. Yeah, man. Oh, Subara Siocha getting hit by the Doskoi right at the end. One round, one match. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Hotcha playing extremely well and not, not having the Master Rank yet, which is very, very surprising. Oh, the big DI! You gonna... Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Go the butt slam. Goes for it. Oh, Lord! The overhead straight into level 3. Subara Shiocha gonna take a lot of damage off of this. Girl, bro, sit down. And shut up. <laughs> uh. Ah, nice standing HP, man. And yeah, and the amnesia. Yeah, you had to... You had to guess it. And on... Uh, to the next one, and again with the Doskoi bait, man. Feed the head, taking the lead. It looked a little bit uh, hard during their first match, but yeah, you can definitely see the adaptation from Feed the Head. 
deciding to use uh, Honda is definitely working for him right now. Big DI, a little bit late though. Here we go with the Doskoi. Ah! Doskoi, indeed. <laughs> And here we go for the corner position again with the standing HP man. Definitely been working a lot for Pete the Head. Fortunately for him, gets crossed up. Big dose guy, man, for him. Uh, oh, again with the raw DI. It's been working so good for him. Is that gonna be enough? Yes, it is. The 100 slap for the kill. 100 slap your ass for the kill. Very nicely done by to the head on the verge of taking this set and sending Ucha in the loser's bracket. Let's see how this spins out. Oh lord, big Duskoy. And we're going with the entire yet again and again, man, with the raw DI. It's been killing. It's literally been killing Subarashi. Ah, Chia and Ucha, man, just crumbling under the under the pressure, man. Is this gonna kill? Nah, nah, I refuse to believe it will. I refuse to believe it will. Nah, it's, oh, wow. <laughs> that was really close. Oh, but just one Duskoi for the kill. Uh, oh, and the air to air, unfortunately, for Ucha prevails in favor of Feed the... Yeah, I can. Here we go. I remember. I'm not that old. Yeah, my memory isn't. My memory isn't all that bad, all things considered. Anyways, here we go. Next match: Nikos Yuta versus SKT. One, two, one, zero. Let's see how this spins out. And Nikos Yuta drawing first blood with a V. The man grab gets the two medals. Gotta get the wall splat. Thank you very much, Filipino champ for the follow. Much appreciated, bro. And uh, good luck for today's tournament. And here we go. Ooh, Lord. Nicholas, you're trying to go for the command grab. Unfortunately, being read by SKT, getting jumped over and crossed up and punished accordingly. And as you can see, Nicholas is in dire straits right there. Ooh, Lord. Level one to get out of the corner. Very nicely done by Nicholas. You try to go for the jump in. Okay, this can go south really, really, really quick, especially since, yeah, Nikozio is currently in a burned out state. He's a one. Okay, gets back. Oh, the stamina right when he's out of the burned out state, unfortunately, for Nikozio loses the first round, but it's still just the first round, so it's it's perfectly fine. I'm sure, I'm sure Nikozio has, uh, yeah, is used to this type of situation. A raw, raw XDP right there in the block strings from SKT. And rightfully so, again with the empty jump into the grab. Ooh! This time around, SKT flaring, smelling that level one and going straight into the level three for the kill. Sit down and shut up! Kaboom! First match going to SKT, man. Damn. A lot of upsets today, eh? Good stuff from SKT. Let's see if Nikojiro keeps with his man on end. He does. Are you gonna be able to? shift the tide of battle and get some momentum back but as you can see it seems like SKT is very very acquainted with the matchup and at least with uh, Nikojiro's style because he has been like jumping empty jumping empty jump grabbing Nikojiro uh, like several times and it's been working quite well for him he's he's uh, smelled out the level one wake up of Nikojiro when he was in the corner several well one time at least but I mean out of twice it's actually a pretty nice ratio you know and here we go with the grab Wow, Nikos Yu with the wake up jab straight into the command grab. The cojones of this man. Nice. Confirm from Nikos Yu. Should be able to kill. No, shy from killing. And you hate to be in this type of situation. It's a reiteration of what happened previously, too. This is gonna happen. Ah, here we go with. The Ooh. Nice sweep, man. Oh, yeah. Tried to bait a tick right there. Nikos Yu trying to uh, get this overhead. Ooh. Ooh, that was really, really nice. That would have been sick if it connected. Here we go, the Hadouken. Back to neutral. Oh, yeah, Nick was you getting a little bit impatient. Almost got grabbed. That was sick. And the Chasse for the kill. I, I do believe it's called Chasse. <laughs> Don't quote me on this one either. I'm not, I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to ballet. But yeah, probably if people are knowledgeable with it, please correct me if um, it's not a Chasse. I think it is. Or a Sauté. I, I really don't know. Anyways. Here we go with the tick pressure and Nikozito getting full combo into the level 3. <laughs> 79. 
are you doing, Gil? Welcome back, bro. And here we go with the pressure, man. Because you just content to just press standing MP. Ooh, nice trade right there in favor of SKT. At least he's out of uh, the pressure. And he's straight back in. <laughs> oh, Lord. SKT reading the DI attempt right there from Nicosita. Ooh, gets a full combo in the corner. Merde. I really wonder if she says merde in this particular Oh no, Nicholas, you do too quick to cancel into the command grab. And level 2 for the kill. Good stuff from SKT, yo. Let's see if Nicholas, you can seal the deal and at least put one on the board to have a tie. We shall see. Ah man, Nicholas, you do not afraid to go straight and get shimmied in the process. And back to the neutral. Nice blocks right there from SKT, didn't get hit by the overhead. Goes for the jump in into the grab. And again with the take command grab from Nikosidu. He's got five medals right now. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the look at the life bar just melting away and goes. Ooh, that confirms from Nick. Well, is it, uh, puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gents. Let's see if uh, Nikos, you can keep this up. We shall see. And back into the neutral. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice recognition that SKT was in the air when Nikos, you connected his uh, MP. Oh, wow. Almost got the whiff punish right there. A little bit late on the reaction, though. And we are back in the corner. No tires from SKT, unfortunately, and lets Nikosir out of it. Incidentally, wow, that connects too. Wow, okay. And here we go with the wake up DI. Well, the DI on the wake up of Nikosir that was pretty hard to re react to. A nice conversion right there from SKT. Takes the first round with this uh, third match. Sweep from Nikosir. Was shy to attack his opponent on wake up, probably fearing wake up DP, I suppose. Uh, no entire from Nikosito again. Ah, probably fearing the empty jumps into the grab, which actually happened. <laughs> oh lord, and too far to get the command grab. Nikosito getting grabbed on wake up. Oh, big whiff punish right there from SKT. Not gonna be en enough to kill. But it's definitely gonna be really close. Also, too far for an exhaust state, but SKT will have an Oki if he hits his opponent on guard on wake up. Yeah. He would have gotten the exhausted state, which would have been uh, very, very dire for uh, Nikoji either ways. And on to the next battle. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the uh, overhead. Wow, again, man, with the shimmy. It's been the bane of Nikoji. Again, Nikoji, man, not entiring at all. I don't understand what's going on, man. Just Nikoji just letting SKT jump on him as many times as possible. Nice grab from SKT. He's got the corner positioning again with the confirms. Big trade right there and definitely in favor of SKT. Just needs one more hit to get the kill. Goes for the tick pressure, reads the grab and punishes accordingly. We are on match point for SKT looking like fire today. What the hell is going on? On the verge of sending the uh, previous Brojo Cup champ in the loser's bracket. Is Nikos you gonna bring it back? We shall see. Big wake up XDP from SKT gets the momentum back. Uh, finally, Nikos you resorting to entiring his end and his opponent. Ah, tried to get the sweep on reaction, but SKT's recovery was just too quick. Big grab from SKT. Oh, and it's gonna be a big punish right there from SKT. Is that gonna be enough to kill? Uh, it might be. I think it's gonna kill, yeah. I think it's gonna kill. Wow, SKT sending Nikos Jira in the loser's bracket. A clean 3 2 versus feed the head. Let's see how this spins out. Filipino champ, uh, a legend of the FGC, really. He's been, he's been playing like. I think he's been playing FGC before I was born. Maybe not, actually, but. He was definitely a very, very famous player and uh, whatnot before I even started to be very active in the uh, FGC, um, in the FGC um, a sector, you know. So very, very strong player. Let's see how this pans out. And uh, Feed the Head, very strong American individual, uh, currently living in Japan. So having access to the Japanese, um, how do you call it, the, the Japanese uh, CFN. 
So very strong, very strong JP player. Uh, also proved to be a very, very efficient Honda player as well. So let's see how this pans out. But as you can see, yeah, Filipino champ, no slouch whatsoever. Definitely knowing what he's doing. Definitely taking all his time just to zone out, brittle little by little the uh, the stamina bar of his opponent. Ah, uh, no one's ever heard there from uh, Filipino champ. Tried to go for the perfect parry. And here we go with the perfect parry on the DI that was sick. Is that going to kill? Yes, it is. First round goes to Filipino champ. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. And on to the second round. A big butt slammer there from uh, Feed the Head. Uh, head butts a fireball, unfortunately, for him. Tries to go for the eggs, DP, uh, the X. Uh, wow. For the X headbutt. And yeah. Feed the Head resorting to use a lot of, uh, of butt slams right there. Yeah, it's only a matter of uh, time before. Oh, yeah. Filipino champ manages to get. Wow! Filipino champ going straight into the DI in order to get. Oh, Lord! That was big! Good reaction. Uh, level 2 right there from Feed the Head. That being said, he is currently in exhaust mode. It's gonna be very, very hard for him to make his way towards Filipino champ. Ah, uh, tried to go for the reaction. X, uh, hit butt, but yeah, F champ was definitely uh, looking out for it. Blocked, blocked correctly, blocked at the adequate timing, and punished correctly. Go on to the second match. It's looking pretty hard for feed the champ. Uh, for feed the champ. <laughs> for feed the champ, yes. For feed the head. <laughs> I'm still wondering why he decided to use Honda and not JP, because I feel like JP versus Dalsim is not necessarily a bad match. Oh, it can be, because of the teleportation, yeah. I kind of see why it might be a bad matchup for uh, for JP, okay. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, uh, they had just content to just use to use uh, Honda right now. And just trying to... Wow, big... X. Oh, X does go. He tried to go for the uh, for the grab in order to punish the. Wow, very nice slide right there from F Champ. Just content to take. Ah, uh, look! Wow, big reflect right there from F Champ. Goes for the drive rush. Wow, the big butt slam, and finally he did taking one round. Very nicely done. Oh, somebody send me a message. One second. Just gonna check if the brackets are good. I think it's the case. Yeah, it is. Everything is going perfectly smooth. I'm very, very happy. I was afraid we were gonna have like a lot of um, technical issues, like the last time we had the Street Fighter Six uh, tournament. But actually, everything is going very smooth today. I'm very happy that the, all of the um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm receiving a lot of messages from uh, from chats so though. Just one second, please, guys. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Fine. And here we go with the level 3 from F Sham. Gonna get that second round. Go, 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 no! Can it! Good stuff from Filipino Champ. Well, let's see what's going to happen. Is Fidel gonna be able to get some momentum back? Went for the grab. Here we go with the butt slam, a little bit late right there from F Champ. Probably trying to press a button in the entire, I suppose. Not quite sure. Wow, big standing HS, uh, HP. Wow. Here we go with the perfect parry. F Champ using the DI probably to whittle away at the, uh, at the how do you call it, the um, the stamina bar of feed the head and feed the head, man. Wow, not letting it up, man. Ooh, wow, nice, nice call out from uh, from Filipino Champ. Yeah. Ooh, that was sick! And Feed the Head actually managed to headbutt. Wow, that was a command grab, right? Feed the Head actually managing to headbutt the, uh, the back of the fireball that didn't quite uh, disappear from the stage. That was a pretty funny iteration. <sighs> wow, F Champ, man, on the punish of the drive rush. That was pretty sick. Oh no! Oh, big reversal. Oh, but here we go! Feed the Head noticing that F Champ was gonna go. 
before the reversal goes straight into the punish into the level 3. That's guy! <laughs> That's guy! <laughs> I love the voice of Honda when he does this, this, uh, this CA, it's so funny. That's guy! He's putting everything in it, man. I, I freaking love it when he says it. So funny. Good stuff from Feed the Head, yo. Puts one on the board. Definitely staying alive as well. Let's see how this pans out. Uh, I am going to do this though. One second, guys. Yeah. This is better. And here we go with the slap, slap to the face. Very nice, perfect parry from Feed the Head. Wow, Feed the Head going for the Oicho drop. Oh, almost got the punish here as well. And here we go with the reversal from F Champ trying to get some space, put some space between him and his opponent. Gets caught jumping right there. Oh, reads the Oicho, uh, the Oicho grab. Oicho grab, yeah. Ah, uh, F-Champ almost getting the juggle with the the standing HK. And if he did in real dire straits. Currently, currently exhausted. Oh lord, it punishes. Oh lord. Almost got hit by the Dia. That would have been sick. And no. Wow, feed the head, man. On the verge of taking the advantage. The uh, take advantage? No, of taking the lead. Yeah, that's how we say it in French, by the way. To take advantage means taking the lead. <laughs> Big counter DI right there from F Champ. Gonna get a huge punish on it. Let's see what Fidel is gonna do. Ooh, wow, that was sick. Ah, uh, tried to go for a grab, but mistimed it. Gets the perfect parry. And the cure, the good punish thanks to it. You can see a lot of uses uh, of F Champ using the DI to try to whittle away at the. Uh, the drive bar of his enemy. That This is basically, I feel it is his game plan. Using the DI whenever he can into combo to whittle away at the, um, the, the life, the, the, what's it called, the, uh, the stamina bar of his opponent. And then just zoning him out today, to death. Occasionally using the reverse. Wow. Big air to air right there from F Champ puts one on the board. We have perfect tie for now. Big punish. Didn't quite get out of follow though. Goes for the uh, drive reversal. Wow! <laughs> Just hovered right above the Doskoy attempt right there from Feed the Head. Big and tired, eh? And yeah, Feed the Head getting a little bit impatient, I feel. Ooh! Doskoy indeed. Entire yet again from F Champ. Definitely on point with it. <laughs> and it's back to the zoning game. Ooh! Wow! Okay, you can enter this way as well. That, that, that makes sense. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, you can see F-Champ having a little bit of a problem to perfect parry the uh, the butt slam. So, probably resorting to using the... Uh, I do believe it's the 2HK. You can you can definitely um, correct me if I'm wrong. But the 2HK to just punish it straight away. Getting a hit in and at least not giving the advantage to feed the hit back. Which is a good uh, good strategy in my, in my opinion. Wow, nice confirms from F-Champ. If Champ punishing these Abari attempts, wow, using the drive rush and entering correctly and just being underneath the head and entering correctly. It was really sick. Ooh, okay, here we go with the punish yet again. If Champ in Dire Straits though, he is in exhausted mode. He is in burned out mode though. Ah, uh, no, oh, big DI right there. Hey, wow, that was sick. Ooh, and the punish on the Doskoi hovering just just a little bit over the Doskoi and punishing right away. That was sick. The freaking timing of F Champ is out of this freaking world. It is crazy. As you can see, F Champ definitely feeling himself right now. Feeling very good. Full of confidence. Full of self confidence, why not? Right now. Yeah, he's definitely feeling himself right now. This is my jam. Oh, this your jam. This is that cool. And oh, big entire right there from F Champ, man. Doskoi again. No, no more Doskoi. Yeah, you can see Fidel probably gonna be trying to. Oh, and the perfect parry again, man. Ooh, F Champ going with the mixes. No, drops it. Drops it. Drops it. But it's still fine. He's got a pretty hefty life lead. Yeah, 
Oh, and the big punish. This should be enough to kill, and it is. And if Filipino champs, I'm confident that should be the case. Anyways, on to the next battle. And it's gonna be none other than SKT versus RX. Let's see how this pans out. RX rocking 1,852 master rank points, man. Definitely a, a force to be reckoned with. But SKT has proven that he's capable of uh, dealing with these ranges of uh, MR since he um, since he sent none other than the previous winner of the Rojo Cup in the loser's bracket and uh, who is basically um, a Nico Zero. So as you can see, he's definitely running a train right now on RX, man. Uh, trying to read that Amnesia 10, but RX not wanting to give it to him. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the X version, plus frames everywhere. Nice, confirm. And RX trying to find the opening. Ooh, big jump in. RX being very patient, doesn't want to overcommit, gets the entire. Try to go for a cheeky uh, drive rush into the grab, but uh, SKT was definitely looking out for it and punished accordingly. And on to the next battle. Oh, here we go the drive rush. There are trying to find his footing and is actually doing a pretty good job at doing so. Let's see if he yeah, can actually manage to seal the deal again with the entire. Goes for the grab this time around. Oh, and the counter the eye. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, SKT going for the uh, side switch. He's got the corner. Yeah, the corner. Currently has the corner positioning. Let's see if he can seal it. The deal. We shall see. Ooh, wow. Ah, RX jumping over just to get out of the corner and very, very intelligently still gets the kill with the 2MK. Let's see who's going to take the first round of this match. Ooh. Big opening right there on the 2MK. Straight into the drive rush and straight into the level 3. Sit down and shut up. Big shorty rip bar right there. Yeah, ah, I can feel, I can sense a DI. A DI is coming. Or not. <laughs> the good stuff from RX, finally out of the corner. Oh, goes for the overhead, yo. And the Eye of Sauron ever so threatening. And RX using a lot of dragon of drive rushes, and rightfully so. Thank you very much for the follow, Chunky Dunkyo, and welcome to the Brojos. And here we go, the level 2 is gonna be block time. Woo! No! RX dropping the combo, goes for the reset DI, man, and gets the kill. Good stuff from RX gets the first round, the first match, I'm sorry. Now to the second match. Big grab from SKT, gonna get the corner positioning, gets the punish on the, the, the parry attempt. RX is out of the corner. Goes for the TP, gets the lend in, and it's back to neutral. Great grab from RX, gonna get a little bit more space still. We're now very close to the corner, and wow, RX with the march of the Emperor. Using the drive rush to, yeah, to close the gap between him and his opponent. Yet he almost got the cross up, unfortunately couldn't quite get it. Here we go with the close-up pressure. Yeah, SKDO with the big punish on the DI using the grab. Oh no, he had the counter hit. I think he could have could have comboed. And it's level two. Uh, too far to get anything though, and a sweep for the kill. Yo, SKT looking very good, man. Holy freaking lord. Wow, big sweep right there from SKT. Ooh, gets a confirm and the juggle straight into the level three. Coming at ya! <laughs> Good damage right there from SKT. I don't want to get that corner positioning. Ooh, a little bit too far right there. Ooh, gets the air to air though. Wanted to get the grab, but very nice stick from RX, especially in that particular situation. Ooh, 
I have Sauron a little bit too late to get out. Wow, again with the tech, man. Uh, you can you can bet your ass the next time that SKT goes for a grab, he's gonna try to shimmy first. I can guarantee you. Ah, yeah. Ah, nice. SKT noticing that RX was gonna go for baits. The IF Sauron is out. Ooh, and it's level 2 time. Nice jump out from man. SKT's defense has been pristine. Seriously, man. Oh, and no. Unfortunately, 4RX gets hit by a a wandering X fireball. Man, that was sick. Good stuff from uh, from SKT, yo. With the 4 HP, man. Ooh, I thought he was going to be able to get the dribble. Very nice reaction. Ooh, and the counter DI. Hello. Hello, damage, my old friend. And JP. Oh, perfect parry right there. Oh, from Ars, but too far to get the grab, though. You hate to see it happening. Big punish. Ah, oh, but yeah. Ars, a little bit too far to get the combo to connect. Wow. Nice punish on the grab attempt right there from, uh, from Ars. And this should be enough to seal the deal. SKT, yo. On the verge of taking the lead. Let's see how this spins out. Nice here to her right there from SKT. Goes for Dragon Lash. Fortunately for RX, the Abare made it so that he was. Oh, here we go with the Amnesia. Ah! And here we go with the air to her again from uh, SKT. The jumping MP is uh, is quite the interesting air to air move. That is definitely working in his favor though. But I wonder if you can get like a if you can get anything out of it, maybe in the corner with the juggle XDP or something. But anyways, here we go at level three straight. Oh no, actually not. Arx uh, content to just yeah, uh, it, it makes sense. Probably wanting to keep his bar for the following uh, the the next um, round, which makes sense. He does have a pretty nice life lead, but one hit is all you need. Oh, no punish on the sweep. You hate to see it. Nice grab right there from SKT. Ah, oh, gets hit by the DI though. Was that a punish though? I wonder whether or not... Ah, SKT didn't have enough uh, life to tank the hit anyways, I think. Good stuff from SKT. Gonna get the juggle. Boom. Here we go with the grab. It's grabbing time. Nice confirms from SKT. Oh, gets air grab though. Yeah, RX trying to bait an XDP definitely, but SKT being very patient, does not want to overextend, does not want to take unnecessary risks. And here we go with the Eye of Sauron. Wow, that perfect parry though. Not enough to kill? Is it? Nah, I don't think so. The proration is way too high, right? Or not. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, that was off of a perfect parry too. That's, I wonder if the the supers are subject to proration uh, on after a perfect parry. I'm really wondering whether it's the case or not. But very nice hit done by SKT man. Takes the takes the well steals around very nice. Wow, nice counter DI from Marx. Gonna get some space back. Oh, he's gonna get a side switch too. Wow, that was sick. But it goes for the command grab. Here we go with the corner pressure. That was really sick, yo. Nice juggle from Rx. Tried to go for the... Oh, no. For the overhead, but no one was home. That being said, Rx, yeah. Doesn't have a lot of bars left. Wow. Yeah, and the perfect parry was sick, but I wonder whether SKT was wary of uh, the follow-up of the this sort of uh, the, the slash as JP does, the horizontal, yeah, this slash right here. And since he paired the first hit, he was probably afraid that the second hit would come out and hit him still. I'm not quite sure how this works in that particular case, but I'm probably sure, yeah, the second hit doesn't hit if you perfect pair the first one. I really don't know, actually. I'd rather not give uneducated guess on the matter, but anyways... Here we go with the wake up X DP from SKT. Tired of RX's uh, pressure. And then here we go with the juggle, man. And RX not out of it yet. Takes the fourth match. 
And here we go with the final round of this current set. And we start off with the trade. RX missed timing as midi, but still. Still finding an opening and a conversion. So it's fine. Ooh, nice juggle though. Look at the damage. Ah, I already starting to go for the grab, but a little bit too early on it. I can smell a DI. I can smell a DI. Ah, uh, yeah, no more DI for you though. If if uh, SKT DIs right now, he's gonna die. Because he doesn't have enough life to tank the hit. And just like this, he'll RX on set point. Is he gonna be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Ludado can big jump in right there. Ah, RX with the drive rush into the grab. Very nicely done. Ooh, gonna get a pretty nice combo into the corner carry. Oh, big grab from RX. In the corner, goes for the level 2. Wow, oh, Lord, look at the damage. It's just like this, man. RX take a little bit out of focus right here. Yeah, that's better. Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie. Here we go. We are in the loser's bracket. So four consecutive matches before we see the winner's uh, final. After which we'll move on again to the loser's bracket for the loser's semifinal, then the loser's final, then the grand finale. We have a long way to go, guys. Still not over. So uh, glad to have you here. And I hope that you have a pretty nice time with me. And thank you very much for the follow, Rebel Zero. And welcome to the Brojo. That being said, here we go with the corner positioning from Yamada, and look at all these combos, bro. Ooh, Lord and Bing jumping right there from Nikoji, you go straight for the command grab. Get back to the neutral. Yamada content to just take his time, not overextend, and just as I say this, he uses a dragon rush, a drive Russian. Just says, nope, no need for neutral. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. As long as it works. Back to the neutral. Yeah, you can see, yeah, Yamada finding the opening with the 2M and gets the kill with the Condor Spike, I believe it. No, it's not Condor Spike. It's an Eagle, Eagle, Eagle something. Anyways, here we go with the command grab from Nicole there. Ooh, gets the, yeah, punish on the drive rush. And here we go with the Desert Storm. Big grab right there from Yamada. It's still his turn. Wow, nice jump out from Nico Zero though. Very brave one at that. Uh, gonna get the jump in. And yeah. Wow, Nico Zero finding the Ooh, openings. Gonna get the command grab. One command grab is all that is required. That being said, Yamada is in exhausted state. Gonna get the grab. And again with the desert storm. <gasps> what the hell was that? The cheekiness of Nico Zero, man. Just, just going straight for the command grab. <laughs> from that far of a distance and it worked. Good stuff from Nico Zero. Wow, that's sick. That was really sick, man. Oh, and here we go with the confirm. Nico Zero going for the reset for added damage using the command grab. <gasps> wow, perfect parry right there from Yamada. Gonna go straight for the uh, DI right after in order to get a crumble and deal the side switch. And here we go with the jump in. Nico Zero, ooh, big. Oh, that was a nice punish, but yeah, too far to get the follow-up though, but it's still fine. Yamada with the corner positioning, gonna get the jump, and... And here we go with the grab. Man, yeah, trade in favor of Yamada, still he has the corner carry. And Yamada using the super tornado, ooh, tried to get the anti air right there. Oh lord, here we go with the jump in, just one hit is all that is needed. For both, by the way. Uh, ooh, here we go the DI. And Nikoji wasn't ready for it. Is that gonna kill? Yes, it is. Yamada stealing it right at the end. Takes the first match. That was pretty nice. Manon is about 69. <laughs> 79, sorry. About 79, huh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> good lord. But good stuff from Yamada, man. Stole it back. Let's see if Nikoji can bring it back. We shall see. I trust in the Nikozid. Wow, big drive rush right there from Yamada. I'm gonna get the corner carry. And back to the neutral. Oh, wow. And here we go with the grab. Wow. Ah, Yamada. Without the 
the entire unfortunately for him. Manon knows all about it. She's French. Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> well, I, I suppose she does. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the Condor Spice, not the Condor Spice, the Eagle, Eagle something. The Spike? Eagle Spike? Oh, and here we go with the DI! And Yamada with the Juggle! Is that gonna be enough to kill? Yes, it is! Wow! That was a pretty nice sequence right there. Yamada on the verge of taking a pretty sizable lead. Nikoji needs absolutely to win two rounds in a row if he wants to have at least a tie. Very nice DI right there from Nikozidu. Gonna unlock the force metal. This needs one more to get the maximum damage on on their uh, on their command grab. Nice take right there from Nikozidu. Ah, no enter. And back to the neutral, but Yamada finding the opening goes for the jab. Oh no! An unfortunate sweep right there from Nikozidu. Wow, man, the shimmies are real. Wow, this is really bad for Nikozito. Very, very bad, yeah. Yamada going straight for the DI. Is that going to be enough to kill? He's going to go for the level 1, I suppose, yeah. Or not. Oh, yes, yeah, and boom, yes, yeah, death. Wow, that was explosive at the end, damn. Yamada up 2-0, to zero, man, on the verge of sending Nikozito out of the tournament, even though he was the one to win the tournament last time. Anyways, let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the far jab. Goes here with the command grab. Gonna get the second medal. Goes for the overhead, but nice block from uh, Yamada. Because you're going low this time around. No end. Oh, well. oh, here we go. The confirm goes for the reset again. It's been working for him so good. Oh, and the jab for the kill. Finally. Okay, Nikoji with some uh, well deserved momentum back right now. Very nicely done. Go with the jump in. Oh, perfect parry. And the level four. The fourth medal. <laughs> Back to the neutral. Nice jump in from Yamada. Goes for the follow-up grab. And he's gonna get the powered up version of the of the storm. Oh lord! Now ah, that was unfortunately timed. And man, Yamada with the optimization station and... Oh, by the way, we're on a set... Oh, we're not on set point. Ah, uh, yeah. But Yamada, man, looking very strong. And now we are officially on set point. Nikozio needs absolutely to win this one if he wants to stay in the tournament. If not, he's going to be uh, eliminated. Nice reaction jab right there from Nikozio. Gets the command grab also. Oh, he's get he gets the DI. And the chasse. And the command grab for the kill, finally. Nikozidu puts one on the board, finally this. He really needed this, I feel. Let's see if he can keep it up and eventually win it, we shall see. Here we go with the jump in, no entire again from Nikozidu. Yeah, no entire again. Here we go with the grab. Oh, nice sweep from Nikozido. Finally gets an opening, but this time around Yamada reading the command grab, but tries to go for the pen, the punish, but unfortunately for him, Nikozido already had a uh, recovered and was able to forward dash and then get a command grab for the punish. Oof. Here we go, the jump in, huge jump in for Nikozido. Gonna unlock the third medal. And the counter DI, yeah, this is a very big for Nikozido. He should be able to get the fourth medal thanks to this. Good stuff from Nikozito. And on to the next battle. There we go, the jump in again. And Nikozito going for the reset command grab. Unlocking the fifth medal. This is really looking bad for, yeah, for Yamada. There we go with the Great Desert Storm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. That being said, Nikozido, man, ooh, out of harm's way, goes for the DI, this is big, straight into the level 3. La 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 <laughs> Good stuff from Nikozido, ooh, anti-air, maybe not, no. Air to air, I'm sorry. 
and we're back into the neutral. Nikolic is trying to get that much needed overhead, but ends up taking it with the 2k. Very nicely done, Nikolic. You're bringing it back. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who is going to take this uh, set? We shall see in a couple of seconds. Very nice entire from Yamada. Here with the grab. And again with the grab, man. Wow. The neutral is real. Okay, nice. Nice uh, nice confirm from Nikozito. Gonna get the second medal. So he needs quite a lot if he wants to start making real damage with the command grab. Ooh. No entire, but a perfect parry. This is exactly what he needed. Oh, Lord. And here we go with another command grab, man. Nikozito is definitely getting a, a feel for the tendencies of Yamada and the places where he does or doesn't block. Yeah, and just like this, man. Nikozito on match on set point, actually. See how this pans out. Can Yamada make a comeback? We shall see. Great Desert Storm! Okay, nice decision from Nikozito. Did get open at the end though. And again, man, with the, the mixer. The double mixer. Yeah, things are, ah, things are looking pretty good for... Oh, Lord, here we go. The wake up level one from Nikozito. Ah, oh, but man. Yamada just freaking casually... It's casually jumping out of the corner and out of harm's way and dealing a cross up in the process, man. That was so unfortunate for Nikozita. But that being said, Nikozita with the level five. Look at the damage. Three command grab is enough to kill. Uh, yeah, fully charged. That is. That being said, yeah, Yamada definitely not out of this yet. Ooh, gets the yeah. Did get the um the jump in and gets the di. Yamada looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty bad for Nikozito. And here we go with Nikozito. Trying to get something. Ooh. This is gonna go down to the wire, man. Here we go with the grab. Yeah. Yamada no Tonari really content to not take too much risks. Uh, ta, ta, and straight into the level 3. And this should be enough for Nikozito to move on to the next battle. La 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 la. Here we go. Good stuff from Nikozito sends Yamada out of the tournament. Let's go! Thank you very much for the follow, Neru, and welcome to the Brojo. Follow state that I can yet I must Neru san, Yoroshiku no small. And here we go on to the next battle. Where are you going indeed? Oh big the I raw the I read it from Galador, I believe it was. So let me see, okay, so the 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 how do you say? Let me add this, by the way. So that it's gonna be easier for you guys. So Vanille is in uh, is in is in pink, and Galader is in I'd say in the brown brown dragon. My blue jeans. Blue. I'm gonna say blue. Yeah. There we go. So it's easier for you guys to keep track of who is who. There we go. I'm such a nice, uh, nice tournament organizer. <laughs> and here we go with the jump in from Vanilla SA. He's gonna get a pretty nice. Oh, drops a combo though. This is unfortunate for him. Again with the jump out, man. Man, Vanilla SX, man. Ooh. Oh, gonna get the cross up. Oh, and straight into the level three from Galator. He should be able to get the kill, and he will actually. To Memphis. <laughs> Let's go down, Chuman Fish! Good stuff from Alider. Takes the first match, actually. Very nicely done. <laughs> Chaluk, Faluk. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Ah, ah, ah. Unfortunate jump in right there from Vanilla SX. He's gonna, yeah. He's gonna have to deal with pressure, but gets the grab and gets the side switch again. Tries to go for an empty uh, grab, but this time around, Alider was on point. <laughs> exactly. So here you go with the corner positioning and Vanilla SX gonna get yeah gonna get the the combo out of the corner. Ooh big DI but the counter DI from Vanilla SX for the punish on Alider. This should be it. Yes it is. Vanille definitely not out of it yet. 
。あ、山田さんご、ご参加いただき、本当にありがとうございました。もう、すごい強かったんですよ、もう本当に。また、機会があれば、ぜひ、えっと、ご参加いただけると幸いです。ありがとうございました。お疲れ様でした。And here we go with the corner carry from Alider. Gonna get a pretty nice. Yeah, that should be level 3. Or not? Okay. Alider just content to not resort、uh, to using the level 3.、Uh, no entire red there. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's back. Oh, Lord. Yeah, almost in the corner. Very nice. Oh, Lord. Not gonna be enough to kill, is it? No, it's not. Well, Alider using a lot of resources, but yo, Vinyl, as soon as he had the opportunity, straight into the level 3. Stay down! That did a lot of damage, though. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. That was, yeah, to miss Memphis, right? Yeah, I think also he. Yeah, it's. He really missed it because I really thought he wanted to do them, but he didn't do it. So it was probably just a drop, I suppose. I'm as surprised as you guys. But, anyways. That being said, here we go on to the next battle. And Alidor with the punish on the、uh, the parry attempt. Nice backdash into the grab though from Vinyl. Gonna go for the punish counter on the、uh, the parry attempt as well. This should be a pretty nice combo in the corner. Wake up jabs from Vinyl, and thankfully so, he is out of the corner now. Well, back in it though. Oh, that freaking backdash was crazy. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, that was a drop. Yo,、oh, and here we go with the mem.、Uh, with the sand slash. <laughs> Good stuff from Alador. Takes the first round of the second match. This third match, actually. Oh, big end tire from Alador. Finally. That was a certified Alador setup. <laughs> and I can see it. Oh, nice perfect pair from Vinayo. He'd be able to get the, yeah, the side switch, indeed. Nice jump in. But yo, Alador. Yeah, and again. Gets 2 HP'd himself, even though he just did it literally a couple of seconds ago. And this should be it. Yep, straight into the level 3. Alidor puts another one on the board, takes the lead 2 to 1. To Memphis! <laughs> Let's go down to Memphis! Alidor taking the lead 2 to 1. Let's see how this pans out. This is your jam. I'm glad to hear it. You can rarely go wrong with Final Fantasy music, I feel. And I have a lot of Final Fantasy musics. <laughs> okay, and on to the next battle. Here we go. The jump in from Alidor going straight into the drive rush combo. Into, yeah, into a pretty nice combo,、uh, corner combo. Here we go. The grab. Vinyl, yeah. Doesn't have much choice than just to endure the, the pressure right now. He's really just a couple of hit away from, yeah, from getting exhausted, unfortunately, for him. And here we go, the kill. Alidor on the verge of eliminating Vanille. Big trade right here from Vanille. Could have definitely been worse for Vanille. Oh, nice to MK into the drive rush from Galadir. Gonna get the corner positioning. Wow. Oh, nice side switch. And Vanille going for the empty grab. Oh, no! Oh, okay. A little bit late on the 2H attempt right there from. Oh, from Gallagher. And just like this. Oh, no, Vinyl! Vinyl drops it. But it's still fine. He gets the Drive Rush combo follow up and gets the kill, thankfully. And we're on to again、uh, set point if Gallagher actually manages to take it. Vinyl still has one more chance to.、Uh, yep.、Yeah. Oh, wow. That was sick. I thought it was going to be Wake Up、uh, EX. Not going to lie. Ah, Memphis. No Memphis. Ah, Lord, yeah. Alidor in dire straits. Alidor definitely in dire straits. Ooh, wow, that sweep, though. Damn, man, that's crazy. Ah, and this is death, yeah. Well played. Nice chip damage from Vanille. Manages to put another one on the board, and we're going down to the last match, man. These matches have been, have been extremely close. Whichever one it was, man, it's crazy. A lot of very strong competitors today. I'm very, very, very happy. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with the jump in. Ooh, a big tech bait right there from Gallagher. Gonna get a pretty nice combo and look at the damage though. Goes for the overhead. And Vinyl not afraid to just wake up EX and right back at you, sir. Here we go with the jump in. And yeah, Vinyl sniffing out this neutral jump. Goes straight for the 2H.、Uh, here we go with 
again, man. Ah, big corner combo. This should be enough. Yeah, level one for the kill. No! Not enough to kill. Ooh, you hate to see it. Is that going to be enough? I think it is. Straight into level one. This time around, Alidor takes the lead. And just like this, we are on set point. Alidor just need one more round in order to win. Wow, that perfect parry, though. That was sick. Good stuff from Vinyl. Should be able to get the corner carry. Oh, trying to go for the DI. I know. Uh, it definitely means you crush. He's, he's, he's here to go to Memphis, man. And here we go, Elder with the Dizzy combo. Straight into level two. Boom. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Good lord. Good stuff from Elder. Woo! Gets the whiff punish. Not enough to kill. But one more opening, and this should be it. Oh lord. Nice grab right there from Vinyl. Gets the corner combo. The corner. Ooh! That was a poorly timed 2 HP, and just like this, Alidor. Damn, that's a lot of subs. This is like the second sub that Fidel is currently using, so Guile this time around. Let's see how this turns out. How are you doing, Flan? Are you good, bro? And here we go with the start of the round. And uh, Flan, who is also a Guile player, uh, is quite fortunate to arrive right when uh, Fidel is on playing Guile. So, yeah. <laughs> Dandy. Now, that's good to hear, bro. And here we go on with the command grab from Nikos. You're already unlocking three, four medals, actually. That was really quick. Let's see if the head can actually adjust or if Nikos is going to run a train on him. We shall see. That being said, we have five medals on board. Things are looking pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And here we go again with Nikos taking his turn back. Yeah, Nikos, you can't have to not jump right there. Not wanting to jump, gets the sweeps and wow, feed the head with the immediate XDP, man. And here we go with level 5. Ooh, this awesome kill, but the follow up over it was enough to take the win for Nico Zero. It takes the lead 1 to 0. And feed the head actually sticking with the uh, Guile. Not giving his uh, trademark JP a chance, unfortunately. But we'll see, we'll see, anyways. There you go with uh, the. First round, the second match, big, perfect period there from Nikozido. And now I have just realized why Nikozido is using these perfect parries on jumping is because he wants to have a guaranteed follow up uh, command grab to unlock his medals as quickly as possible and deal as much damage as possible. I just now realized that. And the reason why SKT was so adamant on just doing uh, uh, empty uh, jump-ins was, spe was specifically for this reason. Because he knew that uh, this is probably a recurrent tactic for Ma Manon players, so just empty jumping into the grab is a great way to deter from uh, them using uh, uh, the, the perfect parry as a tool to get guaranteed uh, command grab, basically, yeah. So I just, I just now understood. I am very slow at these types of stuff. <laughs> That being said, here we go with Feed the Head taking the first round, the second match. Actually looking pretty solid. And here we go back to the neutral. Very nice with punish right there from uh, Feed the Head. Ooh, and yeah, Feed the Head a little bit wary of the command grab. You can definitely feel it. Here we go with the jump in. Very nicely done by Feed the Head. Oh, ah, Lord. Uh, ah, yeah, I'd be dead. Taking the... Taking the... Uh, how do you call it? The risks. The risk right there with the XDP. Thinking that uh, Nikoji was going to commit uh, with something. But unfortunately for him, this time around, Nikoji did not commit anything. And and uh, Fidel just ended up being blocked, unfortunately, for him. Wow, man. Ah, and again with the XDP this time around. He finds an opening. Big jump in though from Nikoji. This is gonna do ooh, a lot of damage. I think he wanted to go for a reset though. Man. Oh, and the DI was actually far enough in order to connect. Big Abari right there from the from to the head. And the level three for the kill. Nikoji, man. La 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 la. Here we go with the kill. Good stuff from Nikos. He takes the second match as well, yo. Yeah, if he did, might want to, yeah, might want to, uh,
consider yeah switching characters or ah we might have a connection it, no we don't no we don't yeah okay we'll feed the head sticking to his guns let's see how this pans out and oh and it goes just straight with the command grab Ooh, almost got the jump in, yo. Oh, big DI from Nikojiro. Gonna unlock the level three. Go straight for the dragon, the drive rush into additional pressure. And yeah, you can see that Nikojiro is smelling blood right now. Definitely feeling like uh, Fidet is going to be prone to want to jump out of pressure in fear of getting command grabbed. And this is definitely Nikojiro um, definitely taking advantage of it. Just going for a straight regular pressure, not using the command grabs. Until his opponent is 100% uh, conditioned. Wow, big wake up XDP right there from Hit the Head. Thank you very much for the follow, Ramon, and welcome to the Brojos. Ah, oh, big perfect parry from Nicol Zero. Good lord, man, this man, the reaction of this person. Who no! Too far. Or too quick on his, uh, on his command grab attempt. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go with the overhead. And back to the neutral, man. Yeah, if you're not committing to anything, does not want to get open. And understandably so. No entire. Oh, big DI. And, oh, Lord, yeah. Oh, almost got the kill, Noyo. I thought it was going to be a wake up XDP. Oh, and just like this, Nikos Yu takes it up. Oh, I'm gonna activate this again, I suppose. And on to the next battle. It's gonna be none other than SKT versus Galader. Actually, this is a run back, if I'm correct. Let me check real quick. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Nah, not a run back. But uh, that being said, yeah, SKT looking mad solid today, not going to lie. He has been committing upsets left and right, but Alidor is definitely no slouch, definitely um, aware of the matchup. He knows how to play against Ken, so let's see how this pans out. There we go, the corner carry. Ooh, Lord and the big punish on the level 2 attempt. And just like this, Alidor taking it with the level 1. Good stuff from Alidor. Takes the first round. And on to the next battle. Both players just really waiting for an opening. <laughs> Alidor buffering the DP, you can see it. Ah, yo, big, big, big 4 HK right there from... From SKT. Oh, Alidor with the, with the raw DI, man. Okay, I'm not, yeah. Did see SK keep trying to oh lord trying to get some uh trying to close the gap but currently in the corner and probably going to yeah this is the good stuff from Alador man taking the first match pretty convincingly good stuff from Alador first match goes to Alador let's see if SKT can bring stuff back we shall see. Man. Oh lord, again with the jump in, man. SKT not on point with that. Oh! Nice parry on the DI, though. Oh, wow. Here we go with the sand slash. Oh man, Alidor on point with the entire is not letting anything go by. Oh, no. yeah. Oh no, and the whiff punish though, that would have been the, the kill. Ah, it's not over till it's over though. SKT man trying to work his way back, but yeah. Drive rush into the grab for the kill for Alder. It's a pretty nice lead, not going to lie. One match, one round. Ah, too late on the DP though. And SKT takes this opportunity to bring Alder in the corner. No entire. Which is uh, uncharacteristic. Uh, you can see Gallader oh, using the side switch to keep SKT in the corner. And rightfully so, goes straight into the level 3. Let's go down to Manfis! 
<laughs> Good stuff from Alador. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, big DI, raw DI again for the kill. Yeah, boom, and this is gonna be dead. Alador taking a pretty nice lead, not going to lie. 2-2-0. Two, two, is SKT gonna get, like, the comeback of his life? We shall see. He's been extremely solid during the, the rest of the tournament, so it's definitely not impossible for him to make a comeback. Definitely might be hard, but not impossible. Nice air to air, man. You've been getting the follow up though. Galadriel definitely looking for it. Wow. The range of this move though. And here we go with the air to air. Wow. Nice confirms from Galadriel. And Galadriel doing a very good job of keeping SKT out and even getting out of burned out mode before SKT was able to seal the deal. Good stuff. Ah, oh, here we go to jump in. Not enough to kill though. SKT definitely wary of the wake up options of Elder. Just respecting the wake up. They didn't want to overcommit. Nice grab and and then. Elder going for the overhead. Oh no, and the wave punish. The wave punish for the kill. Nicely done by SKT. Yeah. Keeping a cool head. They want to uh overextend and rightfully so. Go with the grab. Ah, I tried to go for another grab, but a little bit too far for it. And this is gonna do a ton of damage. Here we go with the grab. Yeah, the with the jump in. Gets hit by the X fire with the X DP. Again, ah the trade on the DP. This is unfortunate for SKT. Still better than getting jumped on though, but. Oh, and here goes the drive rush. Oof. Yeah, Galadur definitely buffering something. I think he's buffering level three in order to go through the fireball if SKT throws it out, I suppose. Oh lord, he had it. He had the overhead though. Ooh, here we go with the shimmy and this is gonna be dead. Yeah, this is gonna be dead. If he doesn't block, if he doesn't drop it, yeah. And just like this, yo. Alador on set point. Boom! Stay down! And we are on set point, ladies and gentlemen. If Alador takes this one, he will be eliminating SKT from the tournament. Here we go to Sin Slash. Yeah, Alador taking the... Uh, Taking the initiative, taking the uh, the advantage. Oh, nice air to air, man. Alador is so on point with the entires. Go straight for the DI, and this is gonna be big. Boom! Rising uppercut. Again with the raw DI, man. It's been working so much in his favor. Yeah, you can see SKT not on point when it comes to when it comes to um. You're countering the DI and again sent back in the corner. Alador does not want to overextend, just goes with a regular jump in for the kill. Alador takes it. Thank you very much for the follow, Bistol GD, and welcome to the Brojos. Thank you very much. Okay, and on to the winner's final. It's gonna be none other than Filipino Champ versus RX. So allegedly, allegedly I say, this matchup is apparently not very good for JP, if I understand correctly. The reason being that Dalsim can use a TP in order to close the gap between him and... Uh, oh, wow! Counter DI, instant counter DI from... FC Champ gonna go straight for the level one, I believe. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the wow, the pressure is real. Yeah, Rx almost in the corner. Ah, but manages to find to make his way out of it. Ooh, gonna get hit by the fireball. Yeah, Rx having some problem trying to yeah follow the rhythm. Oh lord, 
Oh, I don't, wow, what was that? That was sick. The, eva the evasiveness of, of Filipino Chef. That was sick, man. That was so cool. And here we go. That was so sick, man. Okay, I'm Filipino. Just content to, like, not overextend. Doesn't want to... Yeah, take too many risks. Currently sitting with the life lead. So he's perfectly content with just... We're just blocking and, you know, not overextending. Filipino champ, extremely patient player. He doesn't need to overextend. He's never really... Did overextend anyways. Oh, Lord, here we go to grab, though. This is looking pretty bad. Oh, no, and the level 3 for the kill. Not even. RX taking the lead. 1-0, to zero, yo. Okay, let's see how this pans out. That was pretty sick. Okay, here we go. F champ. Well, getting hit by a big DI counter hit. Nice combos right there from RX. Filipino champ with the grab. Oh, Lord, and RX, man. Aware of what Filipino champ was trying to accomplish there. Ah, uh, this is looking pretty bad for FG uh, F champ, though. Currently in. Oh, wow! Reading that uh, RX was going to throw some ghosts at him. Ooh, big DI, but nobody home. And F Champ is back. Let's see how this pans out. Yeah, F Champ content to take his time. Doesn't want to overextend. Noting that Oryx was walking forward and punishing him uh, from doing so. Oh, Lord. Big, big, big. Wow, that far HK went so far. <laughs> that was sick. Good stuff from F Champ. Takes the. Puts one. One round on the board. F champ going with the yoga flame. He's got the corner pressure. Wow, well, punishes the the drive rush attempt. Oof, nice grab from Ari. He's gonna get the corner pressure, the corner positioning. Ooh, big DI. This time around, F champ wasn't it? Wasn't ready. No. Oh. Nice Abari from RX, man. Ooh, is he gonna get the... Not the kill, but gonna get the hit. Ooh. Yeah, if Champ really tried to get out of the corner, but it's it's not easy. Yeah, and the Abari on the wake up, and RX just content to just press a single jab to get the kill. Good stuff. And he was back to the neutral, and here we go with the level 3. On reaction, good stuff from F, uh, good conversion from F Champ. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Wow, it actually did. Here we go, and it's back to the zoning game. Wow, <laughs> F Champ noticing that Oryx was gonna go for it. Yeah, oh lord, it takes it with a perfect. That went so quick. <laughs> okay, F Champ definitely not out of it yet. Gonna take the second match. Wow. Nice conversion. Oh, gonna get the TP. Definitely noting exactly when RX is gonna take to the air. Is gonna take to to uh, to attacking. Wow, nice stuff from it. FC Champ goes for the low. Nice grab from RX. And we are in the corner. Ooh. Wow, man, the reaction station, man. FC Champ with the instant dive kick. To go over the command grab attempt and punish accordingly. And yeah, F oh man, FC Champ looks so freaking so freaking good right now. And the punish with the drive rush using the standing HK. And just like this, F Champ taking the lead. Ah, big counter hit right there. A big uh, perfect parry right there from F Champ. Yeah, F Champ definitely getting a pretty nice read on the tendencies of Oryx. And goes great for the level 1. Damn! Wow! And we're back into the neutral. Oryx doing really his best, trying to do his best to try to to shorten the gap between him and f Champ, but f Champ looking so clean right now. Damn! Taking it Two to one. One more match for if champ for him to make his way to the grand final. 
Let's see if he can seal the deer or if, if, if RX is going to bring it back. We shall see. Wow. Oh, a little bit of a execution error right there from F-Jump. Had the correct idea, but couldn't quite uh, punish his uh, op opponent as what he wanted to do. Wow. Good use of the Dragon Rush. The Drive Rush. The Dragon Rush. You're not playing Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. Very nice Drive Rush right there from RX. Again with the entire man. F champ has been on point when it came to uh, when it comes to entire. Oh, uh, big, big two HP. Back to neutral. Very nice uh, entire again, man. Oof. Oh, and even gets the juggle. That was sick. Wow. Throwing the fireball right in the middle of the Eye of Sauron, knowing that Oryx was going to go for teleportation. And that is next layer. Ooh, big DI though for Oryx. Should be able to get some pretty decent damage. Ooh, drops a combo though. And man, F Champ, taking this opportunity, man, to bring in the mixes. Ooh, big slide. Wow, almost got the third hit though. That would have been sick. Oh man, everything's going in the. Freaking way of F champ man, it's crazy. Look at this man. Oh lord. Oh that call out from the teleportation. Nah, it's not, it's not. It's not. It's another Oryx. It's uh it's Guilty Gear Strive Oryx, yeah. The third strike Oryx is a different player. But I also thought it was a kiss, but no, it's not. That would have been sick though, but yeah, unfortunately it's not. And here we go back to the zoning game. Oh, and Oryx getting the juggle. Yep, oh, and here we go with, yep, the level two punishes. That would have been pretty crazy, yeah. I don't think uh, Third Strike Oryx plays Street Fighter 6. I don't think he does. I'm not, I'm I'm pretty sure he doesn't. He's still, he's still playing Third Strike. Even as we speak, <laughs> he's probably still playing Third Strike. Anyways, yeah, this is new generation Oryx. He's a young player, actually. And, uh, yeah, he played, he, ca he came from Strive, Guilty Gear Strive, and he's very strong. Uh, that being said, F Champ is, yeah, as you can see, is uh, currently yeah in the lead and gonna take it with the level 3. Boom! Good stuff from... F Champ taking it a clean 3 to Just undo this real quick. And we can start playing. Yes, we're good. Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie. This is the Losers Semi Final. And Alidor is actually from Philippines. I, I didn't update the flag. There we go. Good to go. So, yes, uh, uh, Losers Semi Final. Both players have been playing out of their mind. Extremely strong players, both of them. Let's see who is going to take it. Is it going to be Nikozir from Japan or Galder from Philippines? Boom! Advantage seems to be in Galder's favor as of now. Even well, even though I'm saying this, the uh, the health bar are relatively similar currently. That being said, Nikozir is already at level three of the command grab. The more the medals Menon has, the uh, more damage her command grab actually deals. Very nice sweep from Nico Zero. Gonna get a full combo, goes for the reset and the kill. Also unlocking medal number four in the same process, in the process. Good stuff from Nico Zero. Let's see how this pans out. Oh lord, where are you going? Back to the neutral. Ah no, no. No entires right there from Nico Zero, unfortunately for him. Oh wow, okay. No entire and big clean jump in from Nikoji. This is gonna do some damage. And the level five, the level five metal has been unlocked. Yalder needs to be really, really, really careful and sniffs out the uh, perfect parry attempt, but still gets hit by the uh, by the level five command grab from Nikoji. And this should do. Yeah, good stuff from. Nikozero takes uh, the first match relatively, uh, relatively comfortably, if I might say. Let's see how this pans out. And on to the next battle. 
Oh, ah, big whiff punish right there from Nikos Yuda. Gonna get a pretty nice corner carry and unlock the second metal. XN slash to push Nikos Yuda out of the way, sending closer to the corner. Again with the sweeps, man. It's been working pretty good. Oh, wow. Nice reads on the command. Grab the temper right there from Gallagher. Backdashes and punishes perfectly. Look at the jump in again. Gallagher trying to get the grab, but yo, Nikos Yuda just taking it correctly as he should. Oh, again with the whiff punishes, man. Already with. Ooh, and the DI counter right there from Nikos Yuda. This should be enough to kill. Yep, boom. Yeah, Koji looking pretty strong, not going to lie. Back to the neutral. Ooh, wow. Again with the confirms from Alidor. Oh lord, Nikos Yuda has level 5. Hey, you need to be careful. Yeah, oh. Will. Oh, and for the reset, man, with the command grab. One more command grab is all that's needed, and it goes you to takes it. The fear of getting command grab is really the, the the turning point for Manon. It's really at that particular moment that she can install her mixes and her pressure and force you to press button that you otherwise wouldn't have pushed. But because of the fear of the five metal is here, you just end up pushing them, and she then has the leeway to punish you and to open you with frame traps and more importantly uh especially if she has like level three as well the the the, the super level three then you have not only the fears of getting command grab with five medals but the fear of getting uh level three as well so it's uh, a double layered threat if i might say that being said alid are not phased at all whatsoever from what happened during the the three last matches because he just won uh, this round with a perfect, not letting Nikozito even once you know, command grab him. Oh, and here we go, the wake up of first. Yeah, the wake up uh, level one from Nikozito. Alitor content to just grab. Yeah, grab again. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Lord, and the counter. Yeah, this should be enough to kill. Okay, Alidor is still not out of this yet. Finally puts one on the on the board. Uh, sorry, it's actually uh, this and this. Yeah. No, not this. Yeah. There we go. Two to one. Let's see if Nikozito is going to bring it back. Well, he's currently in the lead, so if he's going to be able to seal the deal, or if Alidor is actually going to bring it back again with the grab, man. Wow, big DI and the counter DI from Nikozito. Here we go with the level 2. Ah, uh, uh, nice punish right there from Alidur. Gets a perfect parry as well, yo. Oh, but drops the combo. Or maybe it was intentional. Ah, uh, Nikos, you know, yo. Already trying to install the fear of, of the command grab. Ah, this should be enough, yeah. Good stuff from Nikos Yudo. On set point, by the way. Alder absolutely needs this match if he wants to stay alive in the tourney. Ah, no entire. Catching Nikos Yudo sleeping a little bit right there. Using the drag, the drive rush and the grab. Ah, Alder definitely back dashing one too many times, but catching again his opponent off guard by just dry, drive rushing and grabbing. Uh, uh, uh. Nice read on the command grab a temper there from Gallagher. Oh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, big DI from Nikos Yudo. Goes straight into level 3. Definitely wanting that exhausted state. That being said, Alidor does have a level 3 himself. So it's definitely not completely uh, free. Here we go with the DI. Ooh! And this should be enough to kill. 
Good stuff from Nekozilu, eliminating Alder out of the tournament. And moving on to the... That's fine, fine. We're good. We're going to update the predictions. And Nekozilu took it. Yeah, so these two have been playing against each other a lot. Uh, so they definitely know each other's tendency. And this is the reason why this is probably going to be a pretty interesting match. So anyways, this is the losers final. The, the player who wins this one will get a chance, a run back against uh, none other than Filipino champ. Here we go with the grab from our ex. Goes for the double, uh, the double grave again with the ex grave. Yeah, just oh yeah, wanting to get that exhausted state, but yo Nikolina going for it. Ooh, big di right there from RX takes the first round, and on to the second round. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, lord, that was an unfortunate di attempt right there from RX. He's gonna get a pretty nice corner carry combo combined with a pretty nice amount of damage. Wow, the take pressure. This is gonna be full combo opening for the level two. Look at the damage. Oh, and goes to go to tries to. Oh lord, goes for the command grab. Oh lord, the freaking stamina bar of of Nichols here just melted away. It was crazy. Good stuff. And on to the next battle. Here we go with the sweep. Unfortunately for him, got open. Rx looking mad strong. Not gonna lie. Oof, big punish right there from uh, from Arx. Goes for the overhead. Finds the opening. Goes for the Eye of Sauron. And the grab to punish the parry attempt from Nekozira. Oh, and the far, the far MP for the kill. I do believe it's the MP. And on to the next battle. Nekozira definitely needing to get some momentum back. Ah, nice overhead. Ooh, but gets anti right there. Rx going for a simple grab. Definitely wary of the parry attempts from Nikojiro. Oh, and Nikojiro, man, getting again punished for his uh, parry attempt. Level 2, Nikojiro gonna have to hold this. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Nikojiro. Uh, spending his time in the, the, the corner, unfortunately, for him. Oh, but smelling that command grab, but unfortunately for him, still gets punished. Rx taking a pretty nice lead of 2 to 0. Is Nikojiro going to be able to bring it back? We shall see. Ah, here we go, the command grab. And man, Nikojiro checking them drive rushes this time around. Goes for the DI, finds the opening. Going to go for the level 3 for his command grab. Wow. Nice amnesia and nice corner carry. That did a ton of damage. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh! Big DI! Oh wow, an RX, man. Investing. Oh, okay. And also causing... Uh, the... the um, what's it called? Causing the, uh, the burnout in his opponent as well. So doesn't need to worry about getting... Uh, how do you call it? Of getting di That being said, Nikojiru... Oh no! Nikojiru won! Oh yeah, a little bit too late on the DI attempt, right when Rx was getting his stamina back. That was really unfortunate for him, unfortunately. Let's see how this pans out. This is a match point, by the way, so set point. Is Rx going to be able to seal the deal and get another run back against... Uh, Filipino champ? We shall see. Wow, perfect parry, man, from RX. That was beautiful. Gonna get a pretty nice corner carry. Gonna go for the Eye of Sauron. And the ghosts. No, entire. Well, entire, but crossed up, unfortunately, for him. Okay, Nikoju. Ah, looking pretty good. Ah, too far to get the connection with the 2M. Unfortunately, for him. Wow. And here we go with the jab kill. Still set point, Nikoji absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay alive in the tournament. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, no play with punish, but it's fine. Ooh, Nikoji with a level 5, by the way. He's gonna do a lot of damage, and it did a lot of damage. Woof! Okay, Rx. 
Ah, uh, with the drive rush. Gonna go for the teleportation. A uh, big wow! The freaking confirm off of the X. Uh, off of the X, uh, the uh, X grave. That was sick. Good stuff from Nico uh, from uh, RX. And RX, man. Uh, yeah, on set point. He just needs one more opening. Wary of the level one for sure. For sure. I can guarantee you. And gets the kill with the low, uh, the low, you know, champ against RX. Champ sitting in the winner side of the bracket, whereas RX is currently sitting in the uh, loser's one. So RX needs to win two sets back to back in a row in order to win the tournament, whereas uh, Champ only needs one. Let's see how RX can uh, manage to seal the deal. We shall see. And here we go with the start. RX finding the opening and the corner carry. Gets the jump in. Oh, thought that he was gonna get the grab. Unfortunately, he didn't. Get the yoga fire. Camp has the corner positioning this time around. Yeah, content to not. Yeah, go to ham, but unfortunately, he actually ended up doing so. Ah, uh, look. Nice drive reversal right there from Filipino champ. Oh no, almost got the grab. But a little bit too far. Ooh, gets the hit on the. With the 2 H, uh, HP. Ooh, almost got the sweep though. Got hit by the Eye of Sauron though, unfortunately for him. Oof. And the air grab, man. RX looking absolutely strong and getting the hit with the DI. RX gets the first round very nicely done. And on to the second round. Big DI once again, man. RX looking very good, yo. Definitely out for the kill and for the win. Here we go, RX trying to, to fish them uh, tech attempts right there from F-Champ. Ah, F-Champ finding the opening. Gonna go straight into the level 3. Go, me, go, me, no! Get to the go, go, me, go, me, no! Can it! Boom, here we go. Good stuff from Filipino Champ. Almost got jumped in. Oh, nice sweep. And here we go with the Dragon, the Drive Rush combo goes into the grab. Ah, Lord. And F Champ, funny the opening. Thank you very much for the follow. It's you and welcome to the Pro Joe. Ooh, this time around, F Champ punishing this uh, this DI attempt from Oryx. And on to the next battle. F Champ. Ooh, getting hit by the, the grave. And oh, Lord. Ooh, wow. Almost got. Yeah, you can see RX trying to get the air grab, but unfortunately, man, F-Champ was so uh, nimble that it was very hard for him to pin him down and get the air grab, and Filipino, uh, Filipino Champ ended up uh, punishing him. Nice, perfect parry. Gonna get the grab. Ooh, and again, man, with the instant overhead. The instant dive. That was sick from F-Champ. Um, yeah, F-Champ looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Oh man, and this should do. F Champ putting one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gents. Let's see how this how this will all unfold. Is F Champ gonna be able to seal the deal? Oh, nice jump in right there from nice teleportation from F Champ. Gonna go for the meaty uh, dive kick into the grab. Ah, nice entire man. Ugh, you cannot jump on him. It's crazy. Big DI, but man, enough time to actually punish the DI, the DI attempt and look at all of the damages the to the, uh, the the tension bar, not the tension bar, the uh, stamina bar. Ah, nice grab from RX. Get the corner positioning. Woo. Ah, and again with the entires. Uh, 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 and the wake up. Oh, wow. Ooh, and Filipino champ, you cannot command grab him, man. He knows, he knows. If champ up one match, one round, taking the lead currently. Wow. And using the teleportation to punish the Graves attempt from RX. He's going to get the corner positioning, goes for the sweep again for the grab. Wow, wow. 
And wow, nice perfect pair from Arx though. Gonna use it to get the side switch. But still Filipino champ just using the teleportation to get out of harm's way. Boy, just harassing Oryx from, from half a screen away using the 2 HP. Begin with the 2 HP. Oh lord. Wow, look at the patience, man. The tension is high. Yeah, Oryx. Yeah, Oryx in very, very dire straits and getting hit by the sending HK. Champ taking the lead 2-0. to zero. What is our eggs gonna do? We shall see. See how this pans out. It doesn't help that in Japan, we don't have a lot of very, very good Dalsim players. Or even just Dalsim players in the Master Rank. I fought against probably like... from During my, my whole ordeal to get Masters, I probably fought against two or three Dalsims in rank. That's it. And so I'm pretty sure that the experience of... Our X uh, is similar to mine, and especially when you fight against a doll seam that is of the tier of Filipino champ, it must be so hard. <laughs> but good, good stuff, good stuff, good attempt from Arx, nevertheless, to uh, to try his his hands against uh, such a strong player as is uh, Filipino champ. That being said, look at this, yeah, Arx trying to make a comeback right now. Ooh, unfortunately, almost got hit. Ah, nice, 2 HP, man. Ah, here we go with the teleportation. No, wow, and the cross under, man, that was sick. If champ on tournament points, let's see if he can seal the deal. If our X can bring it back, we shall see. Nice jump in, well, nice TP again from F champ. Ooh. Great drive rush from our X. Ah, finds the opening. Not into the level 3. I oh, he didn't have the level 3. <sighs> nice and tired. Again with the UF Flame. Again with the UF Flame. <laughs> uh, F-Champ definitely uh, feeling himself. Go straight into the level 3. Gatoringa! Kane! Here we go. Kaboom! Not finished yet though. Arx definitely has one more chance to try to bring it back. Oh, and he... Ooh, he would have if... Wow, the command grab out of the driver, that was sick. Yeah, things are looking pretty dire. Wow, Andy, wow, the freaking grab. Nah, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, Filipino man def definitely knows that. Arix wants to go for the level two. Or not. Ah, nice. Rx checking them teleportation attempts right there from Filipino champ. Let's see how this pans out. If champ, ooh, finds the opening. Goes for the DI, gets the corner, the wall splat. Goes for another wall splat, that was sick. Goes for the level one. Oh lord, nope, no DI for you. If champ, no, knowing that Oryx was gonna go for a DI. Wow. One more hit is all that is necessary for Champ to get it, and he gets it with the aerial fireball and Philip.